Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen, buddy boys and girls. This is Jay Tahoe and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a really interesting hypothetical for you. What if you could have $100 million? Right now, no questions asked. Tax-free, wired right into your account. However, as a condition of accepting, you know, this tremendous amount of money, a snail begins a pursuit of you. Now, what, you might ask, a, a, a snail, right? Um, but the snail, the snail, okay, if it, the snail touches you, you die instantaneously. Let's just say it's the most poisonous snail in the world and uh, just contact with it at all. You know, even if you're wearing, you know, uh, um, layers of clothing kills you. If the snail touches you, you are dead, you perish immediately, right? Um, and you might be thinking, oh, okay, well, it's a snail, I'll just kill it. Uh, this also, this, this particular snail is entirely invincible. Can't be killed. You could shoot it, you know, you could set it on fire, you could drown it, you know, you could, uh, it could be hit with a nuclear blast, it doesn't matter. The snail cannot be killed. It is entirely invincible. Let's say, let's just say for the argument though that it can be, it can be stunned. Okay, it can be temporarily stunned, you know. But it always, it always lives. The snail is entirely invincible, right? So now you're immensely wealthy, and you have the snail chasing you. The snail, it can only, it, it has the physics of a normal snail. It can only just snail along, right? It moves incredibly slow, but. If it touches you, you will die. Now, keep in mind as well, the snail knows, innately knows where you are at all times. Let's just say that, um, you know, it can, by sense of smell, it can detect you or, you know, whatever the case may be, the snail knows where you are at all times. You do not know where the snail is at all times. You could, you know, buy a security system to see where it is. You could use your newfound wealth to hire somebody to keep track of it, but you do, you are not told where, where this snail is. It could be anywhere. Uh, and the snail always knows where you are. So now, sure, you might be thinking, you know, hey, I'll use my newfound wealth, you know, to uh, to go to, you know, go to another continent, right? I live in the United States. I'll go to Europe, you know, I'll go to, you know, I'll go to Asia. You know, um, it'll, it would take years for a snail to get there, right? Um, again, the snail, it can only snail along. It could, you know, now remember, the snail is invincible, so it can go at the ocean floor. Who knows how long it would take at a snail's pace to cross an ocean floor. But again, you wouldn't know once the snail arrives in the country that you're in. And keep in mind, the snail can stow away, right? It could snail its way onto an aircraft or a boat or a car, right? Um, so again, it could take years, months for the snail to get to where you are, but you would have no idea that it's coming. So you'd be living in constant fear of where, of where the snail is, right? And I know this kind of sounds like the movie It Follows, um, and it kind of is, except it's a snail. And I think this came up, you know, when I was having some type of a uh, family gathering one time and we were talking about this. I don't know. I don't even know how, how it came up, but I think it's just a, a really interesting hypothetical, right? Um, now here's where it also gets interesting, right? This snail follows you for the rest of your natural life until your life ends due to natural causes or you're murdered or die in an accident or something until, until you die right? This snail's purpose is to touch you and end your life, okay? That's what the snail's purpose is. Now, again, you are very rich, so you can, you'd, you'd have to calculate, you know, hey, I may have to move across the world every five years, every 10 years, however long you calculate that it takes that snail to reach you via either, you know, just walking or snailing, if you will, whatever a snail does to move, uh, at a snail's pace until it reaches you, um, you know, or it stows away on a boat and could conceivably, or a plane, and could conceivably get there faster. Uh, but the snail's purpose is to, uh, is to kill you. Um, now again, you could always say, well, I'll sleep in a bed surrounded by salt, right? Um, you know, all the salt will do is, as we discussed earlier, you can stun the snail, you can wound the snail, but you cannot kill the snail. It will recover and it will continue its pursuit of you. So you will spend the rest of your life constantly looking over your shoulder as to where this snail could be. Um, but you're instantaneously extremely wealthy. Um, so you could potentially use your wealth to, uh, to mitigate the snail. Um, you know, and the snail can pretty much reach you anywhere, right? I mean, I guess you could lock yourself in like a, in like a box 
but you would have to have like air holes so tiny even a snail couldn't get through. Um, so you'd basically have to live the rest of your life, you know, paranoid. Um, now here's where it also gets interesting, right? Obviously, you know, all of us can outrun a snail, you know, uh, right now. But keep in mind, because the snail pursues you for the rest of your natural life, there is a time where you will become, you know, elderly and you may have mobility issues. Your mobility may decrease. So when you're walking with a walker, you know, the snail may be able to catch up to you. Um, and that still could, that still could end your life. Or let's say you were in an accident and, you know, um, you know, again, it caused a mobility issue where you couldn't potentially run or even, you know, walk fast. Then what are the chances that the snail might, might get you? Basically, you'd continue living life as you would now, except you'd be incredibly wealthy. And, um, you know, a snail is trying to kill you. So I think it's a very interesting, uh, hypothetical I've uh, I've brought this up with uh, with friends and gotten all kinds of answers. Some people said yes, some people said no. But you know, you let me know in the in the comments below. Would you take that deal? Would you take a hundred million dollars right now to be relentlessly pursued by a snail for the rest of your entire life? Um, all right, uh, that's today's video. Let me know in the comments below, and I will see everybody soon. Take care, everyone.